This is Kev Dog, and you're watching Bitchin' Rides Done Right. Duh. Hello friends, this is Larry. I'm coming from the Portland Roadster Show again, and my guest today is Ron Barry. Good to meet you, Ron. You too, Larry. Uh, this is, I mean, it, people don't really need a huge explanation for who this guy is and what he's done. We have seen you on YouTube and Facebook, and you are all over the place with your VW Bug. So why don't you, or VW Bugs, your VW van, tell me what it is and what you put it together with. How did you build that thing? Well. Uh, I've always done pencil sketch art, and usually my uh, artwork is a cartoon, and, but it's not practical. So what I did is I took some of my artwork from years ago. The bus was uh, not too long ago. The Woody was from a long time ago, like high school. And what I did is I adjusted it to where I could get a motor and a person in it, and then, uh, but tried to retain the cartoon look. Inspired by these cartoonists, uh, oh, Lance Sorshak, uh, Lamar, uh, or Lamoris, Harris. Uh, these guys are amazing artists. My stuff is just pencil sketches, but I see what I need to see. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, the, after years of building cars, res restorations, hot rods, customs, all that, uh, I got kind of burned out, and I thought I was afraid to lose the fascination. So I thought, well, I need to come up with a new design and my artwork's looking me right in the face on the wall. I'm thinking, okay, I need to build one of these. I'm not getting younger. And so I created the Woody, and it got pretty good recognition. Recognized mostly, I kind of like targeted the West Coast surfer. And uh, it went over quite well. There were, you know, the purists weren't too happy with it at times, but you know, everyone liked it generally. And then uh, it inspired me to go ahead and build another car, which is the bus. Uh, the bus took a little longer on the artwork because I was trying to get a real good uh, balance, symmetry, flow, but also retain features that people recognize. I pay attention to what people look at when they see a car. We all know that a VW bus, uh, for instance, has a real big drip rail around the roof. It's kind of like a cap, maybe not recognizable uh, consciously, but subconsciously, when you see that, you know it's a VW bus. Mm -hmm. The emblem in the front, of course, the obvious, uh, of course, the shape of it. And uh, so I just emphasize certain things. In my builds and designs, I emphasize in both directions. I emphasize small, like the windows are small, but the headlights are huge. So you go back and forth and back and forth with emphasis, and it kind of you have to play with it a little bit to get it right. It doesn't happen just that quick in my head, but eventually it does. And then the bus you know, obviously went viral, and uh, now I've kind of got a reputation for the, okay, I've kind of been tagged as a surf-related vehicle. Uh -huh. So the next build is going to have to be surf-related, I think. Right on. So it's, well, so it's coming. How do you find... In you, in what, when you're building what you're building, you can't just like go down to the J.C. Whitney thing, open up a deal, and start buying windows. And like, you you had to go find the the right size headlights that you wanted. The and I'm guessing the windows. I don't know what you had to have, have them made or something to get that. Well, I make everything. The only thing I don't do is I don't spray the paint. I do the body and body work. Uh, the painter does all the final grooming and paint. Uh, the upholstery I don't do. I don't stitch. But I like, did the headliner, and I built the door panels, built the seat frames, and then just had them upholstered. But uh, I pretty much do everything. The windows are Lexan with uh, film coatings both sides to make them durable. Uh, no, I pretty much do it all in my shop. Um, and uh, it's just through years of experience. I noticed that you put a lot of uh, uh, power actuator stuff on it. And we'll wind up showing some video with, with all that. What all is actuating and moving in that thing? Because I watched you do it. I, every time I turned around, you were doing the next thing. <laughs> so what, tell us what all you, you got going well, there. Well, you know, the car has a uh, what I call a subtle animation. It's animated to the point where people 
see action or, or there, there's an attraction, it's got a life to it. And then so I thought, well, I'll emphasize that and have some functions. So I, the door poppers are pretty straightforward, but you know, the safari window is a real feature of VW Buzz. So I motorized those with a key fob. It's not real high tech like with iPhone or anything. I'm not that advanced <laughs> from old school. But uh, certain things that uh, I found I needed, I found them at like the grocery store. Mm -hmm. The headlight buckets are actually salad bowls from Walmart. <laughs> because it was large enough to fit the, the theme, you know? Yeah. Uh, and like on the Woody, those are also salad bowls on the headlights, but I use little doggy stainless steel bowls for the taillights. Wow. So, you know, I, I mix and I see things that'll work yeah. in my case, and uh, people can, uh, can be attracted to it. And of course, the functions just brings it all to life. Oh, yeah. And so, I, you know, I stand there, I'll wear out a battery real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of us have seen you. Um, you start it up in, in, in a cul-de-sac, and, and you, you pull around, you do the little circle, and it, it was just a tease enough to where all of us wanted more, man. We all were like, yeah. go, let's go somewhere. I want to see you driving in your garage, all the different, I mean, that little taste. Is there going to be more? Well, it's uh, been on my classic car. Uh, we did a 30-minute program, and Dennis drove it a lot. And uh, the Woody as well, we drove, so it'll you know, show all that. But um, the reason that we did the little YouTube video, my daughter did it, is that I was at a friend's place, took the bus out of the trailer just for him to see it, and someone we didn't know at the time took a little quick snapshot video and put it on Facebook. And the response was crazy. And that was the response. Is it real? Is it a toy? Does it drive? You know, they want to know more. Because there was no one standing by it to give that relationship of size. So my daughter says, Dad, we need to make a video of this. And so that people will understand what it is and it doesn't get misrepresented. So that's when we did the little video on the drive around the cul-de-sac. Wow. And that's where I saw it, was Facebook. Yeah. Somebody saw it online. And, and it's, it's a cool little venue and a nice way to be able to reach people because if you've got something cool you put it on there people start sharing the daylights out of it right it goes what do they call it, it goes viral yeah well that's what happened in your case yeah and the viral because of the bus the volkswagen bus everyone knows that worldwide yeah, yeah. oh we got uh, responses from foreign countries and foreign languages you don't even know what they're saying we're hoping it's positive <laughs> <laughs> do you, now how much of this stuff do you keep because you kept the woody mm -hmm. uh i can't see you getting rid of that bus i bet people are would oh, love to have yeah. it from you, but I mean, yeah, there's a yeah, there's quite of a attraction to buyers. Mm -hmm. I've been approached many, many times, but no, I'm going to keep it. That's kind of my uh, signature car. Yeah, obviously. Um, eventually, I'll let it go. Now you hooked up in the display that has the aisle with the palm trees and the sand and the whole surf <laughs> yeah. theme. Did you get together with other guys that have similar things to put in that display? How did that work out? Well, Beaches, the restaurant Beaches here in town, uh, Mark, who owns it, he does this every year, and he always puts on a great display. And Beaches restaurant, that was a theme, and it always has been the theme. Well, then when he caught wind of my bus and the Woody, of course, he was on the phone and said, you gotta be in my booth, it fits, you know, perfect. And it did, and so he elaborated a little more to uh, make the display really special, and it is special. Oh yeah, and, and now that you bring that up, I have seen that before, and not putting that display down, but but your stuff is perfect <laughs> for it, and it and it, it's it's just what that display needed. It was like the perfect cherry on the top of that that Sunday. It yeah, it worked out quite well. Yeah, it did. It so was. so you know you, you hit it on it just a little bit. What's next? Oh well. Um, I have a couple choices that I'm working on. I have a wall of artwork in my shop, and I just walk by it all the time, and it's all my cartoon sketches. Uh, and I try and, well, this one, will that work? You know, and so I think it's gonna be my version, and it's, you know, in your head, you probably won't be able to see what it is until I bring it out, but it'll be like a 29 Model A delivery truck. 
Now the delivery truck was a, another model above the sedan delivery. Mm -hmm. It had, I believe it had double doors in the rear and it had kind of a square roof. Mm -hmm. I think that might be my next build. And then of course it'd be surf related. I'm gonna have surfboards in yeah. it, you know, have oh. that theme. Let's bounce back just for a second. You got surfboards in there now. You didn't make your own surfboard. I mean, you went out and found because it's a cool looking surfboard. I bet you get a lot of questions on that. Uh, the one on the bus I made. It's pretty. Well, it's not really that hard. <laughs> you know, it's styrofoam and fiberglass, and you know, and it's a lot of grooming. Yeah. Uh, the one in the woody though is my surfboard that I use. Wow. And uh, there's a story behind that. Um, I bought a surfboard exactly like that in 1960 from Bing, who was a surfboard builder in uh, Hermosa Beach. Uh, through the years, my son somehow lost it. <laughs> so I got a hold of a guy in El Segundo, California, that was building surfboards, this Tyler Surfboards. And I said, could you make me a copy of this particular surfboard? And I said, he said, well, I, I'm not sure. I don't know what it looked like, and I, and I don't have a photo of it. So I went to his office, and he had a whole wall of uh, old magazines, surfer magazines, clear back into the 50s. And so he started looking through it, and I said, well, I think it was 1960 I bought it. He found a uh, magazine from 60, and there it was in the magazine. And I thought, that's it. That's the one. And so he duplicated it. He, he found... Uh, a blank from Bing's surplus from way back then, and then shaped it and colored it and tried to duplicate it as perfect as possible. It came out great. And so that so one you I had made. Did it and actually, and then and then used it too. Then or oh yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. I still use it. <laughs> <laughs> the surfing man yeah, too. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. So it's moving. not just a theme. It's it's a lifestyle that you've, you've it's been your whole life. Right. Well, yeah. Back in the '60s in Southern California, I mean. That's what we did. We surf. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every day if possible, weather That's related or permitting. Uh, you know, we didn't talk about um, on the, the van, there were parts of it, of the body now. How much of that could you actually get off of the real Volkswagen van? I mean, were you able to get uh, pieces of it, or did you no. literally have to just reconstruct everything? Oh, no, no, no. It's all hand built from the ground up. Wow. I did use some Volkswagen parts. I used the front control, steering, pedals, brake, shifter, because it's, it, it was fairly done mm -hmm. and it was what I needed. Rather than fabricate that, I mean, it's real simple. So I bought an old 65 bus that someone had chopped all up and I just got components from it. I did use the, the uh, beam in the front with the torsion bars, but I changed it over to coilover shock, mm -hmm. put disc brakes on it. The rear, I kind of fabricated pieces and parts to make it independent and uh, disc brakes and then the transaxle is from a later model I don't recall what year it is but it's a bus transaxle uh, that will handle horsepower I thought I was going to have more horsepower but uh, the motor has a life of its own as well this motor and I'll try and be brief was built by and designed by Dick Landy and B&M blowers back in like 89, 90 uh, it Dick Landy was uh, known back in the 60s as Dandy Dick Landy, and he drag raced Chrysler products. Uh, I used to drag race at Lions Drag Strip in Long Beach back in the 60s, and he would be there, and he always had a silver Chrysler, either a Dart or a Plymouth or, you know, some sort of Chrysler product. He was always chewing on a cigar. He was kind of, kind of a character, and we just hung out in the pits. We were all just garage monkeys, and we were trying to go fast with whatever we had. But he went on to, I had, had to quit because of marriage and kids and <laughs> taking care of the family. And he went on to start racing Volkswagens, which I never knew. So he designed this motor and the blower system with B&M. They made a little tiny blower for it. And they dynoed it. And I found an article, actually, uh, Hot VW, Dean Kirsten sent me a three-page article they did on it when he, back in 89. Mm -hmm. And it showed the tech sheet on dynoing it, and, and it was pretty impressive for its time. Uh -huh. But then Dick Landy passed away, so it never made it to market. So uh, his brother, that Mike, makes it kind of rare, then <laughs> very rare. So Mike, his brother, said, "Well, I'll market it." Well, he kind of fell apart and didn't do it. So my friend of mine, who restores and builds Volkswagens, 
I told him, I said, I need an exotic motor for this wild bus I'm going to build. And he come up with turbocharged, dual turbo, injected, and pretty exotic, but it just wasn't there. So he called me up, he says, you got to come see this video. Well, there's a video on uh, YouTube called The Boxed Rod, and I think it's still on there. And it's this Volkswagen bus, and it, it's a rat rod type bus. The roof's chopped, no windows, just the front glass, mm -hmm. and it's lowered, full moon hubcaps. And it, it really looks terrible. And this guy took a little video of it from the front and rolled around to the back, and here's this motor sitting in the back. So the guy, all you can see is his arm hang out the window, a little bit of a window, tattooed arm. He pulls out in the lane that's at a car show, and he nails it and just smokes the tires out of the show. I said, I want that motor. <laughs> <laughs> so we found it in Las Vegas. Someone had pulled it out, he needed money, and I bought it on the spot not knowing anything about Dick Landy. So I put it all together, I built a new bottom end and had everything restored, a blower redone and all that, and built the whole system. And I dynoed it um, after it was all done, and it came out to about 209 horsepower, and yeah, it's pretty impressive. Not yeah, really impressive. Not really, really impressive, but pretty cool. So when I get the article after I found out who built it, and I knew Dick Landy, uh, it talked about the dynoing and what was in it, and I'd actually built it a little bigger. He dynoed at about 190, but it was a little bit smaller in CC. Yeah, I think it was. 19 something and I'm minus 2275 mm -hmm. and then I did a little higher pressure with a smaller pulley and then lowered the compression to seven and I felt like that worked a little better so it's really impressive to hear and it'll scoot it'll lift the front end Dennis you, Gage did that <laughs> uh, we noticed some, you got some other surfboards in the back there to help that situation along <laughs> That's well, a pretty creative wheelie bar you came up with. I mean, it's, you, don't, you don't see that every day. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, the motor, like I said, has a life of its own, and I think it might be the only surviving one. Wow. We haven't heard about any others in our travel shows and stuff, and we'd be where there's a lot of Volkswagens, and we ask, you know, have you ever seen one of these? And, um, no, to this day, we haven't heard any different. So. It could be the only one, which wow. makes it really cool. That is really cool. And then it, no, knowing the guy, <laughs> you know. Well, one of the things uh, that I want to do is I want to be able to put all this together and get links uh, to the other stuff. We're going to get photos from you, and we'll put it all together. And that way, everybody who's watching this, you guys watch what it is that we're doing, and you'll be able to see where this is at. And we'll try and track where you're going with it, too, and keep in touch. So yeah. thank you so much, Ron, oh, for yeah. coming on. Thank Appreciate you. having you. It's a great thing meeting you. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next time.